Hey guys, it's Chris with CT Golf Reviews. Today, I'm at Lyman Orchards. I'm playing the player's course. And I know I said in the past, I'm not gonna play here until I can get all three done in one day. But the deal that I got, you couldn't beat. So let's get out and play the player's course. And hopefully I'll be back in the next like two weeks to take care of the uh, Jones course and the nine hole. But today's the player's course, let's go. Lyman Orchards is located in Middletown, Connecticut and is one of the biggest orchards in the state. Located in the center of the Apple Valley, it is home to three unique golf courses, the Jones Course, the Player Course, and the Apple Nine. The Player Course, featured in this video, is surrounded with trees and classic white pines. The course takes players through our Apple Orchard and offers ample elevation changes throughout the design. It's a very hilly and tedious course to play. It rewards well-positioned drives and accurate iron play with 34 bunkers protecting relatively small greens. The course can be played from 4,667 yards all the way up to 6,600 yards and offers a stellar mix of par threes that average from 210 yards from the tips. On holes 11 and 13, golfers are treated to a 360 degree view of Southern Connecticut's picturesque landscape, the Apple Valley. And that is a sight to see on its own. I've mentioned in the video that I don't think the camera does the course justice as far as the views go. You have to come and play here. The course got its name because it was designed by Gary Player, a world renowned champion and professional golfer that has designed multiple courses all over the world. Connecticut really got a treat when he came here and designed this course. But at the same time, don't think it's gonna be easy. This is one of the toughest courses I have ever played, possibly the toughest. And you're gonna see exactly why as you watch this video. I got a new tripod and a new bag. Look at that, it's a Callaway bag. Hell yeah. All right, let's go tee off. Not in the woods. <laughs> hey, look at the process. Eh, I want a way to start the round, right? Bad, bad old reliable. Bad club, bad club. Bad club. Now that was me. That wasn't the world Bible. That was me. Two things with today. First, uh, I'm racing against the clock. It's five o'clock right now. The sun's going to start to go down in about an hour ish. So I've got that to worry about. Is that my ball over there? Probably. Uh, two, um, I haven't played in about a month actual golf so yeah and it's showing so but i'm running against the clock good club oh get up there stay good chip Right. Oh, you mother. Oh, stay.
dude. We gotta drive through a tunnel in order to get to the third T. This is cool. Get over everything. Go through. Hit something. <laughs> Why is it that the 5-iron is the only one I know how to swing recently? Uh, I'm playing like garbage, so that's why I'm not filming every hole, but also for time uh, constraints. But let me tell you something. I'm going to try to film as much as I can as far as the scenery because this place is gorgeous. Like, I, I can't wait to get up there. That's going to be nice. I'm on eight right now. I'm not even filming it. I'm like 15 shots into the hole and I'm not even on the green yet. I've lost three balls. I've lost my patience. And I've lost a lot of respect for Gary Player for thinking that we're all pros like he is. And I don't swear on this channel, but what the f <laughs> Gary Player. We are all from Connecticut. This is a, this is the equivalent of taking Jack Nicholas and having him redesign f***ing Hotbrook. Oh my god. I love the course, don't get me wrong. It's a great course. It's absolutely gorgeous. The difficulty's a freaking 10 so far. Um and we're on hole 8. I haven't even gotten to hole 9. Uh this this, the course is going to be up there in my rankings. I'm going to tell you that right now. But jeez, dude. Um, Top five hardest hole in the, in the state. This is, yeah, the, for, this is another thing. This is the top five hardest holes in the state. How is this one behind Oxford? Oxford's just long. It's not ridiculous like this one. Oxford, you got a chance. This one, you might as well just go and like, go to a driving range and get range balls and start from the tee and maybe you'll have some left by the time you get to the hole. This is a long rant. Let's get back to the review. Okay, that's a bump. I just got done with the front nine. This course is probably one of the hardest I've ever played. It was hard the last time I played here too, because I've played here before. Ironically, this course and not, um, you know, not the other course, the Jones course. And it's like part of me wants to like just give up and 
call it, you know, just go home early and be like, you know what, freaking, I'm going to come back another day when I'm playing better, but at the same time, I can't do that. So, I guess we're just going to have to stick it out, but this is hole 10, and I basically missed out on the first half because I'm playing that bad, but it'll be a good review, though. Imagine if that went in. <laughs> I don't know why you marked your spots. Ball's not going anywhere near it. <laughs> Dude, look at that freaking view, dude. That is unbelievable. Wow. Really? Yeah. This place actually has really nice paths. Yeah, they're great here. Oh, be good. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you tee that a little lower, you're going to get a lot more yarded. Because you keep sending that thing sky high. Oh! <laughs> Nice. Yeah, have a good angle. Oh. I missed him. How about that? Yeah, it's actually good point. Hey, you can play some non-tiber right over. Okay, this tee box. Shit. Yeah. Need some improvement. You can tell this is aged garbage. <laughs> yeah, this is like, I don't know where to tee off. Happy. Lyman's, you were doing good till this. <laughs> The two guys in the pro shop told me that they, without question, did not think that I would be able to play 18 holes today because I started at 5 o'clock. I'm on 17. 
and I still have about another half hour before the sun goes down. So, yeah, I did it. 18 holes in less than three and a half hours. I don't know what time it is right now. It's 8 away. Yeah, three hours, 18 holes, 17 holes. I'll be on 18 next. This course is great, guys. Uh, I, I, I kind of sort of take back what I said about Gary Player uh, not being nice to local golfers, but this course is unbelievable. And I, I, we're going to have a talk about the lead. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going driver off the deck just to see what happens. Why not? It worked. No. Damn, dude, look at that sunset. Look at that right there. Probably can't see it as well. Hold on. Anyway, uh, we're about to play the 18th. There you go. Now you can see it. We're about to play the 18th hole here at Lyman Orchards, the player's course. I gotta say, dude, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. And I think, oh, there's another rabbit. There's like rabbits everywhere. Um, I think this place is in contention for a new leader. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but if you guys like the video, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you tell all your friends that this is what I do. Cause hey, you never know. The guys that I was playing with in the first half of the round, the the, the father and son, the two guys in white, uh, the son actually watches my channel. Uh, at least he told me he, he's seen like a video or two. So, cool. That's awesome. I love that. So, yeah. Let's get it to that final hole. It or do I try to like be easy? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, right in the sand. Right in the freaking sand. It feels so awkward. I like that. Big swing, big swing. Oh, what? Nah, screw it. I'm putting that. Get in there! Oh. Okay, we got a new leader. Technically, kind of, sort of. This course is an 8.9, and I know that you're going to say, well, so is Oak Hills Park, but it's the credentials, the little subcategories that are going to make this course the leader. It's an 8.9 and basically straight nines across the board as far as the staff, the scenery, the conditions, the difficulty, everything except for the layout because that's a 7 and I think the layout could be a little bit better. I just, I, I don't know. Maybe if I didn't have to go under tunnels and over bridges and across busy streets and stuff. I, I don't know. If it was all condensed in one area, I think it'd be better. Otherwise, that's my only gripe, but we'll get into that. Staff. Nine. Nick and Nick in the Pro Shop were great to me. They were really cool to talk to, actually. And hey, I got through the whole course in 18 holes in, what, three hours and 10 minutes? They were adamant about me not being able to, and I told them, watch me, and I did. So hey, guess what? Did it. And, uh, <laughs> no, 
offense to, to them. We were, I, I'm only, I'm only messing with you guys. So you guys were really cool. They were really fun to talk to. They were really informative. They were telling me a little bit about the course. I told them about the drone and I was like, if you see a drone, that's me. I'm reviewing the golf course. They're like, oh dude, that's cool. They're like, go ahead. We're not going to say anything. And I'm noticing that a lot more people like the drone because I let people use the shots. So course owners just saying if you want to use these videos for your own personal gain like maybe a promotion for the course or something like that please splice it use it that's why i do these just give me the credit for it so rob the starter was a very nice guy he was telling me about how he thinks that the players course is a better course than the jones course and everybody else says otherwise but at the same time i have not played the jones course yet it's 90 something dollars around and I'm not paying that. So, hey, if you guys like this video, and I'm talking to you, staff at Lyman Orchards, maybe you can get me onto the Jones course half off, and I'll come and do the Apple 9 on the same day. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But if the Jones course, from what everybody is telling me, is better than the player's course, then we might have a 9 on our hands pretty soon. I don't know. Uh, and like I said in the other videos, man, the courses are not getting nines unless they're damn near perfect so anyway back to the staff rob great guy him and i were talking about uh how he plays and how he used to swing farther when he was younger he said he was in his mid-70s he doesn't even look it so he does a good job at that but saw the camera equipment and asked me if i was going to be a slow player and i told him i was like no i get self-conscious about that and i don't want to be a slow player so i'm going to try to play as fast as possible he's like i just don't want you pissing them off and then he pointed to the guys that were joining me uh, who also were really cool and hey shout out to eric for watching the channel he said he saw uh, uh one or two videos of mine so and then i forget the other guy's name matt no paul anyway eric's dad another really cool guy really funny so and then i forget the guys that i played with at the very end on the back nine but they were really funny they're really cool too and uh hey you ever see me out in the course again and want to play let's go who else was there? Oh, yes, I forgot. The staff at the restaurant, 1741, they treated me very nicely. I had questions about their entertainment. They sent me right to the right person, uh, whose name was Christine, I believe. Either Christine or, or Krista, I something. And I've got her name on the back of the business card she gave me. And she was really nice. And I was talking to her about what I do because I wanted to offer magic for the, for the restaurant. And... She thought it was cool. I showed her some tricks, and she was, she, she got me a, 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 a glass of water, and really nice. I just, I felt really welcome there. You know, it's one of those places where I've never, I've, I, I can't say I've never been there. I've never been in the restaurant, but I've been to the course. But I was there during COVID, so I wasn't able to go in, wasn't able to talk to anybody. So this is really my first interaction with the full staff. Uh, oh, and the ranger, very nice guy too. Gave me a smile as he drove by. That's really the only interaction I had with him. But. It's the first time I actually had an interaction with the full staff, and I was very impressed, and I'm really uh, impressed by how professional they are and how well they treat everybody, not just me, but everybody. So, Because I'm noticing I'm starting to get special treatment now that I've got the course reviews, and people are starting to know who I am because they're like, oh, boy, you're the guy who does the golf course videos on YouTube. So it's happened once or twice so far this season. So. Yeah, can't complain. The staff gets a nine. The scenery gets a nine. It's one of the most beautiful courses I've ever been to. It's one of the most incredible views I've ever seen from a golf course. But at the same time, it is just about equal to Farmingbury in Wolcott. With that view of the valley that you get from Farmingbury, you basically get the other side of that at Lyman. You go up to the 11th tee box, the black tee box which is right next to the actual orchard, which I found out too, if you're playing there in the fall, you can eat the apples from the trees. So go there in the fall if you want apples while you're playing golf. But this course is absolutely picturesque, okay? The view from the top of the 11th tee box is the icing on the cake. I think that is the absolute best view that I have seen so far in the state of every golf course that I have ever played. Again, with the exception of, of Farmingbury because it's basically the other side, but even with Farmingbury, you don't get a panoramic shot like I did uh, at the player's course. 
The hills and the coloration of the grass and the rough make it so nice looking, especially that the sun, when the sun goes down, it looks even more beautiful. The one thing I can say is that my camera does not do it justice. You have to go there and physically see everything. So if I wasn't able to do it justice, I tried my best. And I was able to get the sunset on one of the holes over that little pond right there. That was gorgeous. The greens look picturesque. The fairways look picturesque. This looks like a course that you would see on the PGA Tour. And yes, it's designed and built by Gary Player. And I apologize to you, Gary Player, if you ever see this for what I said uh, about you earlier in the video about not caring about local golfers. But at the same time, the course is so damn hard, man. Why? Just, just why? Which brings us right into course conditions and difficulty, which also gets a nine. The course is absolutely immaculate with the exception of the tee boxes. That's the one gripe I had, was the tee boxes. Clean them, fix them, do something. Give us the little bucket on the end of the, car, of the golf cart that's got that little, you know, the dirt in it so we can fill them. The tee boxes are beat to hell. Everything else, though, is fantastic. The fairways are gorgeous. They're, they're nice and soft. They're picturesque when it comes to the sight of it. But when you're chipping off of it and hitting from, you know, like the irons, and I managed to get a driver off the deck, they just feel incredible. The greens, with the exception of the ball marks that are not fixed, which I can't fault the course because that's not their fault. It's the fault of the people. Fix your damn ball marks. The greens are really soft and they're damn near perfect. If you overshoot, you're going to lose the ball. If you undershoot, you're not going to get there. But if you hit it the right way, you know it because you can feel it. And they're really soft to step on too. And I like that. Hell, even the fringe is nice. The sand, eh. I only hit out of the sand once and that one little patch that I hit out of was nice, but at the same time, it was a little like, you know, crumbly. Otherwise, I can't say too much about the sand. The rough, that's where it's gonna get you. The rough is tough. And I mean that without trying to rhyme, it's very deceptive. It's soft. It's very soft, actually. It's not even, like, mangly. You know what I mean when you hit out of the rough in some courses and that, like, gets caught up in your club and it's hard to hit out of because it's just, it's thick grass? This is very free-flowing grass. It's very soft. But that's what makes it so deceptive. You're thinking, like, you're stepping on it. Like, oh, man, it's like you could sweep anything out of here. No. Not at all, dude. When you are hitting out of the rough, you gotta be really careful because that ball will get swallowed in. And it's not easy to hit out of. There were shots where I had to play it safe and put it back into the fairway when normally I would just take out my, my three wood or like a five or six iron and just freaking smack it to the green. Not gonna happen on some holes. So that's deceptive, guys. That's really, really deceptive. And it makes the course that much harder. Plus, with the hills and the slope and everything like that, it's a tough course. But it's so well taken care of. You can almost make an exception. You can almost accept that the course is tough because of how well it's maintained. It's done on purpose. That's, that's what I can say. The... The layout gets a 7. Oh, by the way, I would also give the, the difficulty a 9, probably a 9.5. Toughest course I've ever played on. The layout, I'm going to give a 7. I'm not a fan of it. I, I wish it was more condensed and, like, together. You're golfing on three different parts of the property. So you start off the first three holes. No, the first two holes are one after another but then you got to go under a tunnel and around a corner and then you, you hit over a gully and then you have to hit back over the gully and then you got to go back under the tunnel and then across the street it's easy to get lost if it wasn't marked also i kind of wish there were more porta bodies because around like the fifth hole I, I had to go really bad 
So I was I was struggling, uh, trying to hold it in throughout the entire course. So hey, maybe that's why I play like crap. Pun intended. <laughs> um, I like the accessibility, I guess you can say, of every hole. It's easy to get to. You're not going to get lost. They have that little map on the cart that shows you where to go. There's also a map on the scorecard that shows you where to go. The areas where it tells you, like, third T is this way, sixth T is across the street this way, that's easy. You know, it says 14th T across the street, but at the same time, you got to go across the street through the parking lot, you know, for the other five holes. But it's not like you're going to get lost if you just pay attention to where you're going. Because once you get to a certain part of the course, everything is just back to back and right next to each other, and you can see the tee box from the hole. So, but otherwise, I mean, I like how it goes through the orchard and everything. I don't like the blind shots. I don't really like the dog legs. I don't like that dog leg. I think it's six where it's basically straight fairway, and then it just ends, and then it goes straight down a hill, and the green's there. And then you got to go across to the other part of the the seventh hole which is downhill and then you know you gotta you're looking at like a uh, building i don't know it's there's certain parts about it that i didn't like but at the same time hey what are you gonna do so seven for the layout guys 8.9 for lyman orchard's players course and if the jones course is better i'll be the judge of that but again i'm not paying 90 dollars. but at the same time i hope it's better I hope it's better. I'm at the point right now we're so close to a 9. I want to give a 9. I want to give a 9, okay? I want there to be 9 twos and 9 fives and 9 sixes and stuff like that. But, again, you know my conditions. So, guys, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you want me to come and play with you on a course and review your home course if I have not done it yet, hit me up on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever, in the comment section. doesn't matter. So I'd love to come out and play. Where should I play next? I've got a list, but I'm always up for suggestions, all right? I'm Chris with CT Golf Reviews, and I'll see you guys in the next review. That's right, Rockstar. Rockstar.